Hi guys, how are you? Good. We're good. Um, how are you doing? I'm doing great. I loved Ron's Gone Wrong. <laughs> good. Um, yeah. So my first question is for you, uh, Jean Philippe. At what point in the early stages were you brought on board, and what was it about the concept that intrigued you most? Um, I was brought on um, after hearing a pitch when it was kind of still in outline phase, a uh, mm-hmm. pitch by Sarah Smith. Um, she'd already been working on it with Peter Bainham. And um, it just really resonated with me uh, in terms of like the big hearted adventure aspect mm-hmm. of it, the boy and his dog kind of story. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, but at the same time, as a parent, it really resonated with me in terms of the thematics, um, because we're all trying to figure out how our children are doing. Uh, and how they're dealing with their their sense of themselves when it's so uh, important, you know, their life is filtered through social media. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Um, Octavio, I know this is like your first time really working as director or co-director on a full length feature film. Is that correct? Yes. But you have done plenty of work in animation before. How um, what was that leap like and how were you prepared to take on this new role? Wow. Um, that leap, uh, was something that, um, you know, I, again, fortunately we had, um, the people that we had around us and also working with JP at Pixar, Mm -hmm. um, pretty much helped me to kind of be in that realm, but at the same time, it's something where you don't have all the answers and and luckily you can work with the people around you to kind of help you out to kind of build from that because Mm -hmm. it's a whole new level of, managing you know and also trying to figure out like what is our true note within the story because that's mm-hmm. something that we always were like okay we have this movie we have all these people and we're making this this you know the story but how do we keep it so that's what we got us inspired the very beginning of when we read the script so um i feel like it's it's an ongoing process i'm still mm-hmm. learning and still growing and i want to keep welcoming that so not having all the answers but just trying to keep forward and and uh just be ready for anything yeah yeah that's awesome now speaking of you know kind of like walking that line (laughs) of like what the film is about uh jp i'm wondering about the complicated theme really of uh ron being a true friend right (laughs) and being someone that you need but at the same time social media not being a true friend and you cannot only just rely on technology um so how do you balance like the real human connections that one would hope barney searches out and then also the pure friendship that ron provides um well i mean what we're really looking at in terms of the social media aspect is is how it can affect our sense of self really uh and in in a way social media can often just be a mirror back to us right because it's kind of providing all these metrics about how how popular we are, uh, which is really tough, right? Um, Mm -hmm. uh, And I don't think children should be dealing with that kind of pressure because being a kid is difficult, right? Like being being anyone is difficult because we're (laughs) we're all trying to figure it out. Mm -hmm. And um, our most important thing was to have Barney go through this journey where he starts feeling uh, like he is the one outsider, He's the one kid that doesn't have it all together. Um, And he's partnered with the worst possible (laughs) B-Boss. It makes it even worse. It makes him feel even more of an outsider. But in fact, that's where the adventure kind of comes out of, is their relationship. And they build this crazy model of a friendship when Barney tries to teach him what a friend is. And it's really fun for the audience to, to follow Ron doing that. But then Ron develops his ways of challenging that. And that's exactly what a good friend does. They challenge you, they encourage you, they push you to new new things. And, and there's, a, there's that mutual trust there. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> uh, it just reminds you of him like looking for, like searching for friends for Barney, yeah. which I guess, you know, is what a real friend would do, right? Try to try to find uh, yeah. you more friends. Um, <laughs> Octavio, um, I was wondering how, early on or how much you guys had control over all the details of the bebots because there are so many bebot options designs mm. controls yeah. <laughs> so how much was y'all's brainstorming versus animators coming in and being like we're gonna add this 
<laughs> oh, uh, I think for us, it's it, it was one of the things where we we wanted to kind of get this personal experience as a, for the user user interface with the kids, mm -hmm. and now each one had a different idea about what that is. But at the same time, um, for the animators, we wanted them to kind of like go for it and bring mm -hmm. something and challenge us and ask these questions about can we try this, can we try that, and push the limits of of animation, which they did. But I, I think it's uh, it was a nice collaboration of both from us and then from what the animators brought. Oh, that's great. Now, I believe, uh, JP, I believe that you said that you were inspired by the film Her, at least yeah. thematically speaking. And I would love to know how you guys boil that down to make it palatable for the children. Because I see it. I see these <laughs> this inspiration. At the same time, I'm like, obviously, kids wouldn't be watching Her, but they'll very much enjoy Ron's Gone Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, the 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 thing about her, and in fact, um, me using Siri or Alexa these days, mm -hmm. is it's sort of become seamless. It's become effortless, right? I still talk to to Siri and a, a, a lot, <laughs> you know, when <laughs> I need I need to know what time it is and what the temperature is. But um I that the way tech is going, it's only gonna become more seamless because of all the information that is being essentially collected about us, <laughs> what, you know, uh, and we just wanted to kind of uh, lift the curtain a bit on that. So that, um, you know, some kids may not know, they may not know what we're saying. They may just be enjoying the story, but we wanted to kind of gently go, well, there's an algorithm here and it's kind of adding labels to the things that you're doing. Mm -hmm. And then potentially there it's, it's a question of whether you want that. Right. And so hopefully maybe even a couple of years down the line, uh, a kid would go, yeah, you know, Ron's gone wrong. It kind of gave me a perspective on on the devices I use and how I use them. That was mm -hmm. kind of our way of thinking about it. Ho hopefully it is able to do that. I mean, I feel like even I was like, oh, my God, that's so true. I hadn't thought of that. So. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. We did our work. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> helping me understand social media. Yeah. <laughs> um, now, when I spoke to Jack, he talked about uh, having worked on the film for like five years. Like he started when he was yeah. like 13. I'm sure it went through many stages. Um, Octavio, can you talk about like, were there any storytelling avenues that you guys had to balance out or get rid of? Or how much did the story evolve from when you came on? Um, from uh, from when I came on um, and before that, the, the story was pretty much what the core was. And mm -hmm. a lot of it we were trying to figure out was like the best parts of the, the pitch that we had gotten from the story. Um, for example, the idea of the whole thing in the yard with the with Ron and Barney and him bringing all these friends to him. At one point, we actually had it over in the shed in the back in the backyard. But we felt like it was a better place to put it in the school because it's where Barney would dread it the most. Right. Um, but just those kind of things is what made us kind of figure out, like, how can we keep pushing, but, but stay within the foundation of this story? Because we we really believe in what this message is, which is like, what is a true friendship? And also for just kids in general, dealing with the balance or maneuvering through social media and social networks. So a lot of it was just pushing and, and trying to plus what we already had. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Well, I think that you guys succeeded in that. Um, and I cannot wait for everyone to see the final product. Or yeah, neither can we. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Thank Have a good you. day. Bye. Bye. <laughs>